Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your man, Max Batar, back again with another hip-hop-based documentary review. This one today we're going to be talking about is called Sample This. Uh, this one is a personal favorite of mine because it explores, well, it more so talks about the record that basically birthed hip-hop. A lot of people like to talk about how Funky Drummer by James Brown is the most sampled song in hip-hop. Well, there's one song that I think actually beats it. And it is sampled so many times. This basically almost has an infinite shelf life. But before I get started, make sure you click on that subscribe button and also the post notifications so that you will know when new videos are posted so you can check them out. So, now with all that said, let's jump on it. video you basically have a general idea of what this documentary is about no it isn't about jump on it by sugar hill gang but rather apache by the incredible bongo band this song has spanned for decades and it's been used on so 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 many songs it's been uh, used so many advertisements uh, it's a party start if you go to any party and that is probably one of the most famous scenes from the series Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Now going into the documentary, the first thing I realized is that Gene Simmons from KISS is narrating this. And last time I checked, he didn't care about hip hop at all. So that's just kind of ironic to me. So the documentary starts off profiling John Wiener, who is basically the producer of the record and how he used to be a Robert F. Kennedy aide, but after Robert F. Kennedy's assassination, he got out of politics and decided to do something else. So he wanted to get into entertainment. And so one of the first projects that he put out was called The Best of Marcel Marceau, who was a famous mime. So could you imagine buying a record where the artist is a mime? And yes, that record had silence throughout, and yes, he did sell some copies. Now, the Incredible Bongo Band, there were many members in it. More so, there were a lot of studio musicians who made up the Incredible Bongo Band. Whatever musicians that you saw on TV, more than likely were not the same members who actually put it together. Here's an interesting fact. One of the producers, Perry Botkin Jr., was nominated for an award for the song Bless the Beast and Children. And also on that same record he was nominated for, there was a little song called Cotton's Dream that ended up becoming the theme song to the young and the restless. Go check that out. The first song that they did was for a movie called RPM and that song was called Bungo Rock. From listening to it, you can hear the seeds being planted for Apache. Here's what's crazy. The song Bongo Rock uh, did not take off here in America. It actually took off in Canada. So Apache was released in 1973. Two mixed reviews. They were actually still kind of riding high for Bongo Rock. And actually around the time Apache came out, pop music and the genre rock and roll, it was actually on a decline. But what they didn't realize that there was the first of a new genre coming up that will all of a sudden take this piece of music and make it the staple for the whole genre forever. That was around the time DJ Cool Herc got a hold of it. Cool Herc was the godfather of hip hop. Within the breaks he came up with the merry-go-round where he would have two records just keep playing the breaks of the song which is basically the breakdown where the drums are isolated by themselves and he would just keep them going and going and going for about 15 minutes or longer because that's where the crowd would go crazy the crowd would go crazy on the breaks that's when you have the breakdowns that's coming up and also because of him coming go with the merry-go-round and having the breaks just keep going and going that also birthed the MC you already see off top what Apache has done. What I liked about this documentary was how 
deep they got into it. They really caught the importance of what Apache means to hip hop. You had a lot of guys interviewed for this Grandmaster cast. Grand was a Dildor, Melly Mel was interviewed, the Rock Steady crew, basically the forefathers. If anybody wants to know the origins of hip hop, this documentary really hones in on it. I think they did a fantastic job. And like I said, this is one of my personal favorites. So if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Go check it out, it's called Sample This. So if you've seen this documentary, or after you see the documentary, hit the comment section to let me know what you thought about it. Also, I am curating a playlist on my Spotify page, go follow me, about a lot of the songs that were sampled from this. I know there's a gazillion songs, but I picked my favorite 15 songs that samples Apache. So go down there, check it out, and once again, follow me on there. Until then, Peace, I'm out.